Hi guys, here to talk to you today about a tool that if you're serious about long range shooting, this will eventually wind up in your kit. It's a laser range finder. Now this is just an inexpensive one. It's a Bushnell Yardage Pro 450. This one usually runs around 120 bucks online. Sure, the more expensive ones are nicer. They're smaller, more compact. They take a continuous reading. They have better optics, you know, upgrades. You'd expect more for your money but it gets the job done. It tells me what the range is. And that can be very, very useful when dealing with shots beyond 100 yards. I taught you guys the mill dot system, how to range targets using that. And that is useful to a degree, but when you're shooting really small targets, you're going to lose precision when you start stretching things out really far. You're talking about trying to guess a half mill dot or three quarters of a mill dot. So there are certainly limitations to the mill dot system. Furthermore, have a look at this. From 100 to 150 yard range, the pellet is dropping almost 3 feet. So if our target is 6 inches high, and I guess it to be at 120 yards, when it's actually at 130 yards, that's almost 8 inches of drop. I would miss the target entirely. And that's why I use this. So today, I'm going to show you guys what a powerful device this can be for long range shots. We'll take a look through the range finder, then we'll take our shot. So back to this original example and the longest shot on this video. I thought the guy to the right was a red winged blackbird and the guy to the left was a starling. I thought that other bird was actually a red winged blackbird based on his profile as I looked at him on the wire. He seemed thinner and leaning more forward. Starlings kind of lean back and up just like you've seen with this guy. So I spot these birds at a range that I estimated to be about 125 yards away based on the pole that was closest to them. I dope for the wind, I hold over for the trajectory, and doc. My uncle was actually standing right next to me during this shot, smiling at me like I was a five-year-old with a bucket on my head pretending to be a spaceman. But if you'd never seen a grown man clip his pants, you could have checked that one off your list. And here's our next bird, a European English sparrow 90 yards away. over for trajectory, dope for the wind coming from the right, boom. And here's the last one, these juvenile starlings came in, landed on the top of the grain bin elevator, and uh, I was fortunate. Juvenile starlings, kind of dumb, they haven't really put two and two together yet about how much I hate them and want them out of my continent. Uh, the rangefinder found this distance to be 97 yards, however it was at an upward angle, maybe 20-25 degrees, so I cut down my holdover a little bit. So you're about to see something rare. Two birds in one sequence. So what do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Check it out, guys. Thinking about taking long range shots like this, 100 yards with your pellet gun, you're gonna eventually want one of these things. When you're reaching out there, information is gold and doesn't get any more accurate than one of these. That's the end of this one. I'll see you next time.